I've been chasing down old airplanes for most of my life now, rescuing derelict aircraft before they're scrapped and lost forever. Some just see a weathered old airplane, but I see decades of history. Today we're salvaging a 1944 PBY Catalina that is being offered to us by the Pima Air Museum in Tucson, Arizona. Knowing it was never going to be restored or ever fly again, they reached out to MotorArt with the hope that thousands of people will be able to enjoy the PBY again. Luckily, we had just the idea to make this possible. The iconic PBY Catalina was produced for the U.S. Navy and first entered service in 1936 as a long-range flying boat and patrol bomber. The sea bitch has a rich history, but unfortunately she's corroded to the core. This PBY was one of three PBY Catalinas the Air Museum purchased to part out and refurbish for one static exhibit. And wow, did they do an incredible job. The Catalina is now finished and fills their latest hangar with an amazing water landing display. After World War II, the PBY Catalina saw many uses as its flying vessel. Known by the rich and famous as the flying yacht, it quickly became a must-have luxury item for the one of the more adventurous set. The PBY appeared in editorials and publications around the world, including a special feature in Life magazine during the 1950s. Our PBY Catalina was owned by TV celebrity Herb Schreiner in the 1960s. Now it's time to get ours home to California. The museum has been anxious for us to get it moved to make room for other projects they need space for. This plane was so badly corroded you could actually put your hand through the bottom section of the fuselage so we had to be careful about picking it up without her falling apart on us. Why not section it out in the yard and ship it in smaller pieces? Definitely not as fun. Her last voyage begins. This PBY's final flight was aboard a wide truckload for almost 550 miles to the private Motoart Boneyard in Mojave Desert, where aviation giants rest in the sand. Among rows and rows of retired commercial aircraft, our vintage sea bitch PBY looks so small in comparison. Our crane was right on time, and offloading her was so much quicker than what it took to load. We wasted no time and had to make that always painful first cut. It was mandatory, as this entire journey was sponsored by a client who ordered the first sections of this aircraft for their company heritage celebration. Luckily, she just fit in the truck. Back in our Los Angeles studio, our crew at MotorArt is in full swing preserving the sections of the PBY and documenting all of her history. Carefully, we machine cut the insignia off the aircraft and set it aside for our client. Next begins the creation of a memento, so now that everyone can own a little piece of aviation history. We start by cutting sections of the skin, then stamping oval pieces from the metal. All the edges are machine polished, drilled, and then deburred for any sharp edges. A vigorous cleaning ensures we remove any loose dirt or paint that may have remained. Then they rinsed and set out to air dry in our racks. Our graphics department then lays out the schematic artwork, including the aircraft serial number, and each plane tag is given its own limited edition number. The design is laser etched through the existing paint into the authentic skin of the PBY aircraft. Every plane tag is set with a metal ring and a stainless steel wire cable with a removable clasp. Then it's attached to the custom packaging, complete with the aircraft's history and specifications. MotorArt's latest limited edition plane tag is born, giving the PBY Catalina a new life. Don't miss our full series of limited edition plane tags featuring dozens of historical aircrafts at planetags.com.